What is up, adventurers? Welcome to yet another Reviews Day. This Reviews Day is going to be a little bit different than the ones we've done in the past. Now, normally I like to review uh, action figures that really aren't G.I. Joe related, but today we are reviewing something that is definitely G.I. Joe related. Just got a package in from uh, Cotswold Collectibles. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Now, I had to order some gear to finish up another video that I think you guys are really going to love. So we'll put that off to the side. And then, today on this reviews day, it's going to be almost like a reviews day and a basic build. But I will go ahead and pop out the schematics. Today, on this Reviews Day, we're going to be reviewing the Huckster Industries Aerial Recon Platform Mark II. This is dope. I just got this in from Cotswold. I pre this a while back and uh, finally came in the mail today. And I thought, let's do a Reviews Day on this thing. So we're basically going to assemble it and review it. So I hope you guys are really going to enjoy this video as much as I'm going to enjoy sharing this super dope new deal from uh, Huckster Industries and Cotswold Collectibles. So stay tuned. All right, what's up, guys? So... We had to move this over to my, uh, well, I guess what's going to be my assembly table here in the near future when this workshop project gets completed, hopefully by the end of this month. But uh, this is a pretty big uh, piece of uh, equipment, so I wanted to move it over here to this assembly table, uh, which probably in the near future a lot of my videos are going to be um, shot on this. And so I've got kind of a temporary setup right now. We'll change the camera over when I start putting this together. But um, so before I get started assembling this thing, I'll tell you a little bit about it. So obviously this is the Huckster Industries aerial recon platform, as you see here. Um, it retailed for, let's see, I kind of remember $69.99. So when you see this thing complete, this is, a, in my opinion, a bargain. Um, so for those of you guys who aren't familiar, uh, Sean Huckster's brilliant 3D printer uh, does a lot of work with Cotswold Collectibles. I have a lot of his items. I tend to just buy the ones that aren't in figure sets. Uh, I have a lot of the ones that are separate. And um, this, I believe, if I'm going to guess, and somebody in the comments can correct me on this, but I believe this is kind of based on the uh, United States Army uh, concepts, the 19, probably 40s, 50s, where they were trying to develop uh, individual combat weapons platforms for troopers. Um, I believe there was a, a Hiller, I don't know if he was the engineer who was developing those platforms, but there were several different versions of the Hiller uh, V platforms. And uh, I believe Cotswolds made one of the earlier versions, which we'll actually, when we get this all assembled, we'll talk about. Um, but this, I think, is uh, based a little bit on those uh, platforms. And I know Sean has taken some of these uh, concepts and made his own uh, really cool item here so we'll uh, we'll pause the video we'll come back and I'll uh, get everything as you can see um, I'll get everything out of the uh, shrink wrap and uh, whoops sorry about that we'll go ahead and uh, start assembling this bad boy all right welcome back guys so um, sorry my head's gonna be cut off during this but it's just the way the camera's gonna have to be this came in three different package components that Sean has assembled for us. He's taken the time to make all this. I believe the reason this took so long to get is because this is uh, something that probably took a long time to assemble. So here you have the main control um, array, the shaft, very similar to the Aerial Recon uh, G.I. Joe Adventure Team set. We'll talk about that in a moment as well. So I'll set this off to the side. I want to get the rest of this out of the package. So anyways, we've got these portions here which if I had to guess without looking at the uh, blueprint, we will look at that here in a second, 
These look like the landing pads. So we'll put those off to the side here. And then you've got the main, I guess, fuselage. Kind of looks like a Dyson, a Dyson uh, fan, if you will. It's probably uh, some, a similar concept. But this is a really cool uh, piece. So you can see here, detail-wise, you've got your uh, portion here where your feet lock in. And you've got your, uh, I guess, Dyson fan portion, which is the main uh, turbine that powers this uh, hover platform or aerial recon platform. Uh, really cool. It reminds me of a giant version of Huckster's um, drones that he makes for the uh, Cotswold Collectible Elite Brigade line. So we'll set all this off to the side here. Uh, we'll talk about this as well. Like I said, this is the main control shaft array. Reminds me a lot of the aerial recon portions. I'm sure Sean was inspired by that. Has a really cool control panel as well and a set of headlights or maybe digital terrain uh, sensors. I don't know what you want to call them. And of course, we've got, I believe, these are our landing pads. If you look at the blueprints, they're all set up. So what I love about a lot of Sean's items that he makes for Cotswold is it comes with a blueprint, which is really cool it's kind of like the old gi joe real american hero uh line of figures and vehicles that would come with a really cool blueprint which would lay everything out for you so as you can see here reading off the blueprint we've got the control handles high resolution camera infrared sensor camera a navigation a control display this is the flight platform in black air conduits foot clamps light duct body landing pads Really cool, and it even gives us a neat concept of how this thing's supposed to work, theoretically. Copyright 2023, Sean Huckster Industries, Era Reconnaissance Platform, MK2, the Mark II. So this is great. Uh, this here is a great touch of class for a really cool uh, item. So as far as assembling this thing goes, we'll go ahead and we'll put this thing together so the pads are designed to just um, go in these little uh, holes or slots here. So we'll go ahead and put those in. They don't lock in place. They just statically fit in there, which is cool. Um, I know there's a, a portion on here. I think Sean did a good job of really getting the, uh, the schematics right where these just kind of sit in there. So that's cool. I don't know if eventually due to stress that these things would fall out or I'm not sure if you're supposed to glue these in there there's really no directions but I'm assuming I'm assuming you could glue them in there but that would also make it maybe hard to store so we'll see how that works you know they, they can fall out here and that's the kind of a problem what a guy could do well you might do that here in a bit is you could take some uh, painters tape and you could just lightly uh, or some um, silicone tape, not silicone tape, but Teflon tape, uh, plumber's tape, and wrap that around there to give it a little bit more grip and friction. So the main control module here, or the, uh, what do you call it? The control column, which the control handles amount to, just clips down in the, I'm gonna do this without these things falling over. Just gonna take those out. So it clips right here there's a nice little clip here, which is real similar to some of the other work Huckster's done. So this control has a notch right here, which allows you to set this in here and click this in place. You might have to work it a little bit. So this is the first time I've ever messed with this. So I think there's a little bit of a learning curve associated with it. It doesn't hook in there real well, and I don't want to force it and break it. That's a problem. There we go. I'm always careful with a lot of this 3D printed stuff. I know Sean's really done his best to design it to uh, try to minimize any fatigue, cracking, or whatnot. You never know. It's a $70 piece of equipment. you got to be careful. So let's, let's try something here real quick since we're on camera and see if this works. So 
we got a little bit of painter's tape here. I'm just going to take a little bit of painter's tape, kind of wrap it around these cylinders a bit. It definitely, definitely helps um, keep those in place so they don't fall out. So let's take a minute, minute here to um, just rough these in. Of course, if I'm doing this for real, I'm going to cut these so you won't be able to see any of the green painter's tape protruding out of the bottom of the platform. But right now, just for the sake of this video for review, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, kind of half half ass it a little bit for you guys. So there we go. Let's grab the. stuff here and put it off to the side. Set it back here a little bit. But let's also, while we're doing this, let's get the camera set up here so we can get a better, closer look at this. Super cool Huxter's Industries. Well, let's, let's do this. I apologize again for the shaky camera work, but uh, we'll pause the video, we'll come back and we'll set it up and get a better look at it here. All right, welcome back guys. So for any of you guys who are wondering about the background noise, uh, my grandfather had a really really nice stereo record player set from the 1950s and i got that when he passed away and my uh i also inherited his set of vintage record collections dating back to the early or late 30s on up through the 1970s i think it's got a lot of wild music in there but uh, my son likes to uh grab random records out of there and play those on the record player. So if you hear some background noise, that's what's going on. So anyways, <laughs> here we go. This is our assembled aerial recon platform. And for reference, here's a 12-inch uh, G.I. Joe figure. He's wearing a set of Guyperman coveralls, also purchased from Cotswold Collectibles. I believe this was a set that came with the, uh, one of the other Huckster Industries uh, I believe it's like the Helipack, or I call it the Gyro Pack. I can't remember what the name of it was offhand. But you can see that this is a massive piece of equipment next to a, a G.I. Joe figure. Just for reference, this thing like stands, shoot, stands almost 11 inches tall at the uh, control base. And the width is 9 inches out to out on the uh, the Dyson fan portion or what Sean calls it the uh the lift duck body so I think it's cool this is a great cool concept you know and uh I love this thing I am so glad that I bought it um so for references as well here is another one of the early 3d printed uh models of I think another pillar aircraft that Cotswold Collectibles uh, did now I believe Ben from Prometheum Rising might have been the person that produced this one But they make several different variations of this. I only own the very first one But I know there's several different concepts Cotswold has out there that includes weaponry I know they have like an Arctic edition and maybe a night ops edition, but I just have the regular uh, One here you can see this is quite a bit smaller when we put these two guys together um not much smaller, but they're obviously completely different concepts, too. Uh, this is also uh, a little bit Johnny Quest, if you will. Both of them, uh, very much so. I think Johnny Quest was hopefully inspired when Hanna-Barbera did the early concept drawings by some of these prototype uh, single-man uh, aerial devices developed by the United States Army and U.S. Air Force back during the early parts of the Cold War. 
Um, so I think this is a great thing. Uh, at $69.99, I think this is a wicked bargain, uh, guys. I think it's one of the coolest things Cothworld's come out with uh, lately. And that's hard to really say because they come out with so many awesome things. I actually, when I got this in the mail the other day and pulled it out of the box, I actually messaged Greg Brown over at Cotswold and said, this thing is massive. I can't believe it. So shout out to Greg at Cotswold and Sean Huckster for uh, creating this really, really cool. Uh, let's take this off to the side. This really, really cool Huckster Industries aerial recon platform mark ii uh, this is an exciting thing and i think if you're a member of the adventure team fan club like i am uh, an axis of awesome member i really think this should be something you need to add to your collection and i don't know if sean how many of these he's made or this is sold out at cotswold but i really think this is something you need to have and i actually plan on making some custom decals for this as well so the other question uh, remains is how does this thing work? Well, just so happens today, I have found a, uh, a willing pilot, one of my uh, GI Joe Adventure Team test pilots, and I'm gonna kick it out to him and he's gonna show us exactly how this uh, Sean Huckster, Cotswold Collectible, Huckster Industries Aerial Recon Platform Mark II works. So let's kick it out to the field. So a special thanks to a member of my Super G.I. Joe Adventure team for uh, demonstrating the uh, Huckster Aerial Recon Platform Mark II for us. You can see, again, the blueprints. Uh, pretty cool deal available from Cotswold Collectible right now. Uh, while supplies last, i got to throw that in there as well. And uh, I think it's a great item. And I think anybody who's a fan of the G.I. Joe Adventure team should definitely... Uh, think about picking one of these up but around seventy dollars i think it's a bargain for a really really cool and well engineered piece of equipment for your gi joe adventure team so i look forward to using this in a future photo story and uh guys let me know in the comments whether you own one of these and what you think of it or whether you own any more of uh, sean huckster's 3d printed items and uh like and subscribe to the page please hit the like icon for sure because it helps my page quite a bit uh share the video and uh, in the meantime, guys, keep living the adventure and cheers.